They're coming. Self-driving cars are the wave of the future. And while they'll be able to efficiently get from point A to point B, being in a minority on the road among cars driven by people means having to teach the cars to drive more like a human is behind the wheel. No, not like humans drinking coffee or using their smartphone while driving, but things like edging into intersections, performing tight maneuvers around corners, or crossing the double yellow line when necessary to, for example, avoid a parked car. That's the challenge Google faces as it works to commercialize its self-driving cars. In test drives, Google's cars have tended to be overly cautious. The onboard computer tapped the brakes frequently as the car spotted what it determined to be potential danger. And though Google says it was through no fault of its cars, 12 of 16 minor accidents involving its self-driving cars since 2009 have involved the cars being rear-ended. You think about the way uh, the vast majority of drivers approach something like an intersection, you have creeping stops rather than pull right up to a line and just stop cold. So there's a lot of that creeping stop, brief stop, and then move forward. Um, and it seems, you know, it seems seamless. Uh, whereas Google cars would approach and come to a complete stop and then run risk calculations. And so, you know, those are the kinds of areas where Google you know, wants to make its cars feel comfortable, feel real. Another way Google is teaching its cars to behave more like a human is behind the wheel is to modify the way it turns corners. Previously, Google's cars would navigate a corner by making a wide turn because it expects pedestrians might be near the curb and predicts what the pedestrian might do next. Now Google's cars navigate the curb more closely as a way to mimic how humans tend to cut corners and in an effort to send a clearer signal to other drivers of the car's intentions. Google is able to uh, take some data uh, from what it's learning about uh, you know, these, these, these braking incidents or these left turn incidents, you know, pop it into its calculations and, and immediately or, or near immediately have uh, situations where its cars will cheat a little on the double yellow lines. I mean, that is fast moving technology, uh, which you know, tells me that you know, we're, we're talking sooner than later when it comes to viable driverless cars.